So we're going to watch this clip together here. So initially I start off the clip, right? I find him. I fire that smart to the right there. I hard stop at this column here. Probably wasn't wise to fire that smart and concussion, but anyways, I dash around to the left and then I finish him off with that shot, right? So this was a this was a pretty good example of hard stopping because I put this individual in a position where they had to decide split second is he going to go right or is he going to go left and that hard stop put enough time in there to see you know kind of sow that seed of doubt with his judgment here uh you you know maybe firing the concussion fusion did somewhat help out you know it might have intimidated him or at least made him think that i would have fired and then bailed to the other direction but either way i think i think it says a lot about how effective hard stopping can be used in the correct context this is just one of many examples of it Just like you saw in that example, you saw how something so little, like hiding behind a column, can pretty much change the result of a dogfight, right? In that video, you saw that he was facing this way. He saw me come through, I got behind that pillar, and he expected me to commit to go to the other side, or at least pour out this way. What I did was I threw, it, I threw up enough time there, I can't remember if I went through there, but I threw, when I got behind this pillar, I threw enough time there to make him double guess whether I was going to go left or right. So I was right here, hard stopped, waited, and then I per pursued it the other way, right? Like, even though he knew that that was one of my avenues of escape, it was that hard stop, that level, that level of hesitation that made him second guess where I was going to come out. And that's one of the important things that you need to know about hard stopping. And you can incorporate hard stopping in your double backs as well. Uh, if you do it in a certain way, it makes it a triple back, but this is a good way to confuse or disorient your opponent, and you can do it pretty much behind any wall, whether it be this one, right, whether it be that one, and you could even do really, really small pillars, whatever works, you know?